Konnichiwa, and welcome back to another episode of Maya's Manga Guide. So, I am a big fan of romance, and sometimes I get asked by my friends why am I so obsessed with it? Well, the easiest way to explain is by reading this masterpiece. Today's manga is Hisuru Takoro no Tenshi by Yamagishi Ryoko Sensei. To explain about this manga, we will need to go over on some Japanese history. There is a famous history figure in Japan named Prince Shotoku, who lived during the 6th and 7th century. He created Japan's first constitution and contributed to spread Buddhism throughout the country. So, Hizuru Takoro no Tenshi is a manga about Prince Shotoku. Now, I just explained about the prince using this picture. This is an imitation of how Prince Shotoku is usually displayed in the history books. And this is Prince Shotoku in Hizuru Takoro no Tenshi. It is amazing how Yamagishi Sensei was able to develop this character design of Prince Shotoku. Well, all we have as a reference is this picture of him. But that aside, as you can see in the character design, Hizuru Tokoro no Tenshi is not a manga that outlines the facts of history, but it is a story and a manga of its own that was inspired by these history figures. So, on to the plot. On one fine spring day, a 14 year old boy named Emishi, who is also a character based on a historical figure, meets a remarkably angelic girl and falls in love. However, to his surprise, the girl turned out to be no one other than Prince Shotoku, or in this manga we call him by his real name, Prince Umayado. Prince Umayado was intelligent and noble that everyone fearfully respected him. However, his mother knew her son had a secret sixth sense which led her to despise him. For that matter, Prince Umayado spent a lonely childhood. However, as Prince Umayado and Emshi gets closer, Prince Umayado realizes Emishi is the only person he could share his powers with. Gradually, Emishi becomes an important figure in Umayado's life. However, things are a little different for Emishi. So, a manga based in the Asuka period is rare on its own. Heian, Sengoku, and Edo periods are seen in a lot of mangas set in old time Japan, but Asuka is a period way before. And I think it's interesting that you can see the culture and the way people live during this era by reading this manga. But the most charming thing about this manga is the bromance, especially through Prince Umayado's character. In actual history, the prince seems to be portrayed as more of a calm person, but in this manga, he is far from what we call calm. But it's understandable as the manga explains how the prince was raised. And honestly, my maternal instincts explode when I understand more about the prince, and especially in those scenes where his feelings towards Emishi is pictured. All I wish for is the prince's happiness. But what is his happiness? Will he ever be happy? The manga is full of cliffhangers and drama. Although it consists a total of 11 books, there's a high possibility you won't be able to put it down until the end. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy reading manga, and I'll see you in the next episode of Raya's Manga Guide. Matane!